going to show you how to replace our convex mirrors and uh, for the purpose of the uh, exercise we've, uh, we've got a mirror head here on the bench. <coughs> Yours is probably going to end up like that if you need to replace it so if you've got a broken back and plate as well all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and you can whiz the whole centre of it out. Right, make sure you don't get any glass splinters in your fingers, of course. Um, just take all that off, right? I'll get rid of the uh, rubbish out of this. You cannot put your glass into your back and plate and then attach it, as I've seen a couple of people do, right? First of all, you need to make sure that if you get a back and plate and you get a glass, you need to make sure that it's a perfect fit within the, the housing. This is a right hand side glass in a left hand side mirror. And as you can see, the corners don't fit. So they're right and left uh, glass and right and left back and plates. So put the back and plate in place like that all you need to do is drop that on there and then do your screw up you don't need to go over tight with a screw because you still need to, need to allow it to move a little bit okay make sure that it can move and you've just got some double sided tape here so once you peel that off you can just stick your glass and everything into place make sure you get it in right put your two top corners in there first it's usually easier to do it like that and then drop it down onto the tape and make sure it's lined up. That's all there is to it.